Hi everyone, and I hope you're having a great day today. This is a fairly short video for me, and the reason for that is I just wanted to make a soap. I didn't even have a plan when I started. This is going to be a goat milk soap with uh, mostly coconut oil, some olive oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter. It's uh, super fatted at 5% because as you know, coconut oil can be a little drying to the skin. So if you super fat it, you're sure to get that much needed moisture. Um, and then I'm making this with 100% goat's milk, no water. Um, that's me just adding the shea butter in there. Um, but I'm doing a 100% goat milk uh, recipe here. Um, and I'm going to do this in some pinks, uh, starting with the palest of pink, moving all the way up to almost a purple. Um, and I'm just doing some, just, I'm just dropping the colors into the mold. I'm not doing any mixing. I'm not doing any hanger swirls, nothing like that. Just drop it and what, what happens, happens. Um, and I'm making this in honor of, uh, the former first lady, Barbara Bush, who passed away today. Um, while my politics may vary uh, from her family's, I had the greatest respect for her. I live in Texas, and the Bush name here is a well-known name. And uh, she, to me, was uh, the, probably the classiest example of that, of, of that family, and a great matriarch. And um, I'm sure that her family is mourning her greatly. And so for that reason, I just thought, okay, I'll do, a, I'll do this soap in honor of her. Uh, but I decided to do a pink, uh, as I stated, uh, and it's somewhat understated because I kind of feel like uh, the First Lady was understated as well, uh, barring her pearls, of course, and my mother wore pearls too, so... Um, Perhaps there was, you know, maybe I miss my mother as we approach Mother's Day. I think a lot about my mother who's gone. And so hearing of others who've lost their mothers just makes me a little melancholy. So thus I'm making this soap. So perhaps we could also call this an early Mother's Day soap. But anyway, um, I'm just melting the goat milk very slowly with the lye. Of course, it'll seem much faster because I'm editing this. Um... This is 100% goat milk that's been frozen, fresh goat milk that I froze overnight, uh, and also have it in an ice bath so that it doesn't burn or scorch, uh, keeping all those wonderful, great moisturizing properties of goat milk alive and well. So now I'm adding it into my oils slowly and then making sure I get out all that great goat's milk so my goat Bitsy isn't upset at me. I never want to disappoint Bitsy the goat. She's a, she's a great friend in the goat world. So now I'm going to blend this in to just a medium trace before I start adding in my colors. And the way I'm going to do this is somewhat gradual. I'm just going to add in the smallest amount of pink to begin with and then slowly add more and more until, and then keep pouring it and the darkest will be at the top. And you, there, it would be kind of impossible to do this in reverse, to do the darkest first and then do lighter, unless you split up your batch. And so I wanted to do this in a single batch, so that's why I'm just adding ever so little pink here at the beginning, just to give a blush to the white, to the creamy goat milk. And, um, I'll pour this in the mold in just a, a thin layer and then I will add more and so I'm just going to be quiet and let you enjoy.
So I decided to go very simple and understated with the top as well. So I just am taking a spoon and just barely texturing the top. I'm not going overboard with this. Um, and I'm not all that great at spoon texturing anyway. I love to see the work others do, and I can only aspire to that. So I'm just doing a little bit here on top, and there you have it. And I decided if I'd have had some white pearls, I would have put those on top, but I didn't have any on hand. The only ones I had were the wrong color. So I decided to go with some pink Himalayan sea salt, just add that bit of sparkle to it. So due to this being a goat milk soap, I did not let it gel. Matter of fact, I put it in the freezer as soon as it was done. Um, and I took it out and I removed it from the mold a bit too soon. And so it was very soft on the bottom. And you can see as I turn it over here, the corner there is kind of missing. Yeah, that stayed behind in the mold. So that first bar or bar and a half there will have sort of a wanky corner. Um, but other than that, other than it being very soft, and it will harden up, as, as a matter of fact, it already has. Now that it's been cut, these are already pretty firm. Um, but I was very pleased with the way they turned out. It's just really what I wanted was just that lightest blush up to that mid-purple color. And I think it's a very nice... Uh, I don't understate it as the word that just keeps coming to mind. These are not... Uh, excessively decorative they're just they're I think they're kind of classy with the uh, ivory color at the bottom and then moving into the into the lavenders and the purples I think it's just just quite striking and I hope you agree so uh, as we approach Mother's Day I hope you all have your moms to hug and and love uh, and if you don't um, you have those wonderful memories like I do and I suppose like the Bushes do now of their own mother. So thanks everyone. I wish you the best and look forward to seeing you back again soon. Take care and um, hey, it's, it's almost Wednesday. It's hump day. <laughs> Goodbye.